The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me, as usual, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. Thank you, Scotty. I'm sure you're going to ask me how I'm doing. Uh Fuck you if you want to know, <laughs> Google it. <laughs> okay. I probably could do that. You probably could. You're on the gram, right? <laughs> Crackers or? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm a human s'more, man. Uh, that's great. And also another excellent stand-up comedian. He is the 2021 Wichita's funniest person. We like to call him the wreck, Mr. Derek Alders. Thank you. And thank yeah. you for the hand job, Scotty. Yeah, was, you're welcome. That was very nice. Unnecessary, but a nice touch. Yeah. You're surprisingly good at that. Yes. His yeah. hands are very soft. Like yeah. you've been practicing your whole life. <laughs> a lot of practice, man. Of Have course. Have you ever had the ones he gives with his mouth? <laughs> Those are the best hand jobs. Really? <laughs> yeah. Just jerk you off with his mouth huh? yeah <laughs> nice it's innovative my yeah, wife sure doesn't is. even do that uh, this you talk about multitasking because uh-huh. then you can like wash dishes make sandwich whatever absolutely something you tells me it, you guys are making this up no i've never give either we've of got you the guys footage. <laughs> we got the yeah, footage yeah we do yeah <laughs> it must be with the, the apple yeah. turnover footage i'm assuming it's on your only hands oh <laughs> <laughs> Nice. It actually got kicked off of only hands because you were using your mouth, and that's cheating. (laughs) Yeah. It's right in the name, motherfucker. Only hands. (laughs) Yeah, it's like reverse soccer. Right. Oh, goodness gracious. Well, everybody, welcome back to another episode. If this is your first time listening to this uh, this podcast, this is a comedy podcast where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. In fact, 95% of the time they're targeted towards me and I'm okay with it. This is also an adult podcast where you use foul language and make loud noises. So if that's not your thing, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thanks. Bye. Whew. I got through that. All right. You know what? Why don't you just take the rest of the episode <laughs> off, dude? <laughs> I, I think that, that warrants it. That, that was yeah, such a good job. Good your, job. Your wife is probably missing you going upstairs. See how she's doing. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, we do have a full episode. We've got a lot of sports to go over. Uh, I've got a random question where I'm going to ask uh, at the beginning of the show. We've got our normal stuff, real shit, horse shit, bad advice with Jeremy, overrated, underrated, and questions. And as always, a draft and shitty situation as usual. So, but, uh, you know, the first thing that we do every single episode is we like to talk about what happened to us over this last week. We call it our week, week recap. So, Derek. What? What the fuck did you do? Uh, well, first off, I, I wanted to address uh, from our last episode, there was one part about our Disney vacation that I left left out that I think might have been the highlight of the entire trip. Oh, joy. Yeah, uh, we had ordered some food uh, from the old uh, mobile app. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because it looked like the line was a mile fucking long. So we're like, well, I'll just order off the mobile app. And so we did. And it was like, it'll be ready in about 15 minutes. So then we go up to the window in 15 minutes. And we're like, oh, no, this is the, if you're just ordering window, the mobile app line is down there. And it's that long-ass fucking line. Oh, fuck. So... You could literally just walk up and order and get your food immediately, (laughs) or what we thought was saving time wasn't. And as we're standing in line, this other lady goes just right up into the front and cuts everyone to get her mobile order, and everybody in the line just started calling her a cunt (laughs) at Disney. Rightfully so. That truly is the happiest place on earth. (laughs) That's exactly what I was going to finish that with. (laughs) But uh, this weekend, uh, I went to uh, Kansas City. Oh. Yeah, I went to go watch Adam Carolla do a little Ku Klux comedy. <laughs> ah, really? Uh, it was fucking horrible. Oh. Horrible. I've heard he's actually kind of gotten away from funny. Oh, uh, yeah, way away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Scotty's funnier. Oh, damn. That That's impossible. Come on now. Yeah. That's impossible. Yeah. He uh, led off with uh, about a good 10-minute no punchline set up, nothing, just <coughs> bitch fest about masks. Oh. Mm. And then he uh, went into what he said was the comedy, which I think he forgot. 
And I remember one of his jokes <laughs> in particularly. <laughs> Jesus. One joke in particularly, Jeremy. Uh, yeah. you'll, you're a comedian. You can appreciate this. You got to uh, burn some Adam's hot material. I'm going to burn this hot joke. This wonderful joke. This is Adam Carolla's joke. Okay. You're talking about uh, professional comedian, longtime yeah. professional comedian. Okay. Yes. Uh, he said uh, this is he's, he has a side that he can do in L.A. and a side that he couldn't do in L.A. Mm-hmm. So he's doing some of this can't do in L.A. stuff. And he said, man, growing up, he goes, let's talk about Asians. <laughs> oh he goes, growing up, uh, I used to think all Asians were karate masters. I thought they all had black belts. And then they all got all bent out of shape and said, man, this is ridiculous. This is an unfair stereotype. We don't all have black belts. And that was the end of that. So basically, Asians went from us all thinking they had black belts to being belted by blacks. <laughs> oh. That was his fucking joke. Jesus. That was awful. <laughs> yeah. Like, I appreciate any kind of humor. That was none of it. Wow. So uh, there was a lot worse stuff, too. Yeah. So I'm yeah, still it, trying to think how I feel about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? It's not let's, a good joke. No, let's go to her. But I like the content. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was fucking horrible. Outside of that, the trip was good. I got to go to some Waffle House. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Pick I, up any hot chicks there? Uh, no. <laughs> I feel like if you get served on somebody with all their teeth, then you didn't mm-hmm. really get a good Waffle House experience. No. <laughs> and so we're sitting there, and my buddy that I was with is a huge Waffle House fanatic, just like me. And we're sitting there at the bar counter eating, and there's this guy. His name's Phil. And Phil weighs about, oh, I don't know, 80. <laughs> oh my! Eight, maybe eighty-five pounds. And he's at the Waffle House. Yeah. Jesus! Yeah. I didn't think they would let him in. <laughs> he says he tries not to eat it too much because he just <clears throat> likes it so much. Oh, sure. Well, yeah. apparently by that he means once a decade. I guess. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? fuck. So uh, my buddy immediately just picks his phone up and says, "Hey, Phil, say hi to my daughter. She loves eating here, and she's really mad that she's not here." And so he's like, "Hi," and the other waitress is like, "Hey," and then they get off. The, he ends the recording, and the waitress, the other waitress, goes, "Does your daughter like hats?" And he's like, <laughs> "Yeah," and she's like, "Oh, well, loves hang them. on, she's <laughs> way on team hat." Right. Yeah, yeah, she's such a big fan. She wears them, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so they go back to the back and they get a Waffle House hat for his daughter, which was very nice of them. Sure. And uh, Phil, old Phil, is wearing a camouflage Waffle House hat. Okay. Fuck yeah. Right? And my buddy goes, man, that's what I want. I think that would be sweet. I, I, the camo hat's where it's at. I got an extra one out in the car. He <laughs> goes, well, really? Yeah, you can have it. I'd be happy to buy it from you. You, you, you can have it. <laughs> so he says, all right. So then Phil disappears for about five minutes. And I'll hear all the other waitresses go, where's Phil? Like, this is ridiculous. Where the hell is Phil at? Where do you think? And what's, the, what's the next? I don't know if this is like he's got a whole array of hats in, the, in his car. Like, hey, you're not, go get another fucking hat. That's where he's at. Oh my God. So he comes back in and he hands my buddy the hat. It looked fairly unused, but I don't know. I wouldn't have just thrown it right on my head like my buddy did, but he was pretty excited about it. And it was 11 a.m. It wasn't like it was like 3.30 in the morning. I was getting ready to ask that. Yeah, so this was was breakfast on our way back to Wichita. Are they still 24-hour? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So uh, he goes, Phil goes, yeah, I don't like them other hats. I like – they tried to give me one of them like that one there, and – I looked at it, and that was made in Vietnam, and they tried to kill my daddy. <laughs> oh my God. That's exactly what he fucking says. So it's like, oh, shit. Cool. Are you ready to go? <laughs> could, so, could he tell just by looking that it was made in Vietnam? I don't know. What I, is the look of a Vietnamese hat? <laughs> you know what probably took him so long outside? <laughs> probably because he was out there hanging out with Adam Carolla. <laughs> what? Maybe? Did he? Okay. Just on the off chance, was he underneath a car beating on the fuel filter? <laughs> Try it now. <laughs> Trying to steal a catalytic converter. <laughs> Try it now. Oh, God. Uh, so, yeah, and then we also went to uh, a buffet place called Cinchetti's. Have you ever been there? No. I was actually surprised. I have, Italian? I yeah, I don't go to buffets. I don't. You'd look at me and you'd think I'd fucking do that every day. <laughs> but I'm not a buffet guy. But okay. this one uh, was different. It was an Italian buffet. 
and it's like you go to the place and you got three there'll be like three things in the hot well or whatever mm -hmm. and then right back behind that there's a guy with a fucking gas stove and he's cooking all this stuff right and then you go to the next station and there's three things so they're they're cooking it all right there in front of you and they actually had a guy going around with a thermometer temping everything and making sure it was all okay temp-wise and stuff, too. So Was it, it a rectal just, thermometer? Yeah. I like to think uh, so. Absolutely yeah. it was. Yeah, it still had a little bit of crusty on the end of the <laughs> Great. Gross. Yeah, that's the good stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's what oregano is made from. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> it makes a great meal. Sure it does. <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much what we did. And then uh, Sunday I got back just in time to watch the last half of Selection Sunday. And, yeah. yeah. Was it like every other buffet? Did they just in the middle of everything for no reason have chicken wings and french fries no no like chicken chinese wings. buffets do that oh wait they had chicken but they didn't have french fries okay they yeah. had like chicken tenders because you know there's fucking autistic kids and stuff. sure that's my so. favorite is chicken tenders uh -huh. we know <laughs> we know spectrum <laughs> we know <laughs> is there anybody else like me you, i'm still like the fucking 12 year old kid whenever i go out and eat places wait did you say you like to fuck a 12 year old kid no i did not say did that you, i heard that did you hear that i sure did hear that <laughs> yeah, absolutely I that said, was weird when you had one uh, on only hands yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah play that back <laughs> Let's check that, that audio. That seems incriminating. <laughs> Let's it check really that does. audio. No. That might get us demonetized. I still go to restaurants like Applebee's and <laughs> Twin Peaks, and here I am, like... Picking I'll up on 12-year-old <laughs> Twin Peaks. <laughs> no. I see, your priorities are crooked. Uh, some chicken fingers with honey mustard, please. And french fries. You, you can't fuck up chicken fingers. You can't. It's so You go to hard. a place that you don't know what the food is like, you can almost always count on the chicken fingers. Apparently, you guys have never heard of a little place called Sonic. <laughs> really? You don't like their chicken fingers? Uh, the last ones I got, I could bend completely in half and they didn't break. <laughs> Well, well, yeah, that's that fluffy chicken. That's fl yeah, fluffy chicken. Fluffy yeah, they fried the rubber. Sure. They fried the rubber chicken. <laughs> that's better than uh, biting into them and being ice cold. Yeah, Ooh, which I have good. gotten one place here in town that I will not mention the name of. Oh, come on! This mm. isn't the Wichita Food and Booze page. What name is it? <laughs> no, <laughs> what's it rhyme with? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm really not going to say. Oh, damn it. Uh, it's, uh, a, it's a place that's not necessarily known for food. Oh, okay. Uh, oh. Ah, fair enough. Pleasures. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. Uh, no, I go there for the buffet. Yeah. <laughs> they got a great Italian buffet. They got Skettios and everything. Yeah. <laughs> Hanging out on the front row, right? Right. Yeah. Just sitting there. <laughs> big bowl of SpaghettiOs. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tip you later. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Pleasures is our local strip joint. Anyways, uh, so my week, uh, well, it was it was good, but then it, it started out kind of shitty. I don't know. Was Derek done? Oh yeah, he said he was. Yeah. Did you? Uh, oh, yeah, I, I don't I'm listen to you guys. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, it was it was okay. It it started out pretty shitty though. Um, I haven't been feeling the best over the last uh, couple of days, so uh, I uh, I live five minutes away from work. <clears throat> so naturally, on lunch, I go home and I eat whatever I have and then go back. Well, naturally, on my way back, uh, I was in the truck. And I uh, thought I had to fart. I did not have to fart. I had shit. And so I had to turn my truck around, go back home, and change my drawers. So you shit your pants. I shit my pants. Yes. <laughs> I'm getting to that age, you know. At least that's a natural thing to have happen. Yes. It would have been weird if you thought you had to fart and you puked. <laughs> <laughs> or if he thought he had to sneeze and he shit. Yeah. 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 Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> that was, that's a complete wrong orifice. Oh, no. Not again. Well, I'm getting up to that age where, you know, you just can't trust it sometimes. You're supposed to do that at work so you can leave. Yeah. I. You, I, you did that early. Uh, yeah. But. But at the same time, like, okay, go with me on this. Am I the only one that carries an extra pair of underwear in the truck just in case? Yes. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> then I, maybe I have a problem. Uh, How many times have you shit your pants as an adult? In, in all seriousness, in the last, like, maybe five to ten years, yeah. twice. It's happened two times. Woo, that's two yeah. more than me. Well. Jeremy? It'll, get, it'll catch up to We're you. not talking about me here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, it catches up to you. Um, <laughs> we haven't gotten to my week yet. All right. <laughs> yeah. That was his whole Saturday. That, that, huh? was, yeah. that was the shitty part of my week. But uh, <laughs> You mean on accident? <laughs> Never. Yeah, Jeremy shits his pants at mm -hmm. yoga twice a week. <laughs> I do it out of laziness. I, <laughs> Just to get out of going, going places. I'm not going all the way into the bathroom. Yeah. Fuck that. I'm like, all right, now we're doing downward dog. <laughs> Jeremy. <laughs> God. Now we're not. Um, this is what my dog does in that position. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, but my weekend consisted because I wasn't feeling very good. I kind of didn't really do a whole lot. I was on TikTok a lot. Uh, I, I got that fucking pretty in the face, but uh, but she's super thick song stuck in my head. Have you seen that? No, that's old. Probably da- old. But- he's it's an older dad. He's like in his forties, and he's uh, he's at um, in New Orleans. What the fuck, Mardi Gras? And they're playing that song on a float and stuff like that. And he just, super thick, man, I'm thinking about my dick. It's fucking, it's just hypnotizing. I don't know why. But uh, I did find out that we do have a a listener, uh, Luke the Voice, who's on American Idol, which I haven't watched American Idol in years. Thank God, because that's a really shitty wrestling name. Mm-hmm. Luke the voice? Yeah. That's yeah. Terrible. Oh, for sure. Yeah. No, his name is Luke Taylor. Weighing in at 85 pounds. Right. <laughs> Phil and his opponent, Scott. <laughs> Standing in at six foot three, Luke the voice. Yeah. Uh, but he follows us on, uh, on TikTok, and so I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, but the most important thing of my entire week was I got some dope-ass jerseys, and I'm wearing one of them. It is... Uh, an alternate jersey of the Mighty Ducks District 5 Pee Wee Hockey Team and Charlie Conway's jersey. I the alternate jerseys of a team that doesn't really exist. Exactly. So today's the day. Today is, is the t- day that Scotty finally said, I am done fucking. <laughs> I've had it. It's too exhilarating. Yeah. I don't want to fuck anymore. Right. I'm so sticking I'm to button. hand jobs. Yeah. And that's <laughs> it. He paid for that with his only hands. On my only hands page, yeah. yeah. That's that's what happens. But okay. uh, I did. I've already worn it it's out. His merch on there, right? <laughs> yeah. I've already worn it out a couple of times, and I, I just I got stopped like every five to ten steps. People are just I like, hope "That's to a kick your ass." <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, this like is a so... fucking easy target in that piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, the whole that... white's covered in yeah. blood. So oh, you yeah. had to get that. <laughs> yeah, you think this is it's... crazy? Wait till next week. No, I'm gonna quit. No, okay. Before then, um, <laughs> yeah. Now, okay, is that from that shitty fucking Disney Plus show? No, no. This is this is because uh, they didn't have alternate. They didn't jerseys. have alternate jerseys, but this is just its own like thing. I could have got so the then original. It's not an alternate jersey. You just made that up. You lying piece of shit. No, somebody else did. I just bought it. Yeah, it still says District Five across the front. With the, with the original duck. I, I already have the green one. You're on thin fucking ice. Okay. I'm telling you that right now. That's fine. In fact, you know what? I haven't had to do this in a while. That's one. <laughs> <laughs> but that was my week. Go uh, ahead, Jeremy. I, I did oh. want to interject one thing. Okay. Uh, I also did go see The Batman this week. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Okay. What what'd you think? Uh, Robert Pattinson as Batman, not bad. Really? Not really? bad. Robert Pattinson is Bruce Wayne horrible <laughs> fucking horrible he seems too young, young and pretty oh no yeah. he's emo bruce wayne really oh, great that's yes. what we need a bruce yeah. wayne that shops at hot topic yeah, that's right that's pretty much it i got to where i was like i like to watch when i watch a movie i'll go to imdb and like look at the like different trivia and stuff like that after it's done because i'm a mm-hmm. dork and uh it said that he got his inspiration for his version of bruce wayne from kurt cobain Naturally. Yeah, so what I think he should do next is fucking kill himself because <laughs> that was terrible. Wow. Mm-hmm. Well, all right. Marry the nastiest woman he can find and mm-hmm. then blow his fucking brains out. Yep. He, he didn't do it. She did. <clears throat> Just saying. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. How about your week, Jeremy? Oh, God. Um, let me ask you something, though, about the Batman first before we go into okay. my week. Okay. Uh, I've, I've heard from a lot of people, uh, 30 minutes too long? Not really. No. No, I didn't. I've heard that too. And I looked at Katie after we were done. I was like, "What do you think? Like, do you think it was too long?" Or I said, "I heard that, and from a few people, but I didn't really feel like there was anything that they really could have omitted out." I've heard the fight scenes are abnormally long, but that's just what I heard. That's no. fucking awesome. If that's the case, this is like the first superhero movie that I'm I'm actually thinking about watching for the first time in a long time because the. Uh, the the vibe that they put off was uh, the Batman movies with uh, what's his name Christopher Nolan yeah Chris, Christian Bale Christian Batman. Bale as Batman and those were excellent those are some of the only superhero movies that I really really Dark love Dark Knight is in my top five movies I, of all time one hundred percent agree yeah it's an excellent movie uh, then but, the Dark yeah. Knight Returns kind of really fell rises off the cliff, not returns, rises whatever yeah. Yeah. yeah they showed that in four D in Colorado really. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they did. Just for one showing. In a, okay. It was Aurora, wasn't it? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Did did Sean Connery show up 
Since he was the voice of Bane, I'm pretty sure he was. No. No. <laughs> no, the Joker James Holmes did. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, Jeremy. That's still one of my favorite Jesselneck tweets <laughs> after that happened. <laughs> yes. Other than that, how was the movie? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. My week. Uh, it was a big week at our house. Uh, this week, it finally happened. What are we? We're, we're at the Ides of March right now, right? Yeah. March 15th. Mm-hmm. Christmas ornaments are all down now. Congratulations. Just That's happened great. yesterday. Holy fuck. Yep. For like three months. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations. So this is why I'm on Team Corolla. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, let's see. But yeah, I mean, no, she just puts up so much shit and it's just such tedious work. It's actually more of a tedious process because she has all the original boxes and everything to find the box that each fucking ornament was in, put it away exactly how she had it before. Cause it's the only way it'll fit in the rubber made <clears throat> tubs. It's I don't know why in the fuck she continues to put herself through that, <laughs> but basically, yeah, from uh, early November, usually actually late October till uh, yeah. First part of March, middle of March, we have Christmas. <laughs> so uh, that's the way things are at our house. Uh, let's see. Then I bought a uh, I bought a respirator. So suck my dick, you dirty air breathing <laughs> motherfuckers. <laughs> Adam Corolla, you're off his team now. Yep. yep. Sorry, <laughs> dude. So well for like snoring at night or something. No, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna be uh, putting some Formica on stuff, and that uses contact cement, which gives off some really nasty vapors. Oh, cool. So. Um, so you don't yeah, want to I, die. I don't. I prefer not to die. <laughs> uh, I am going to leave the garage door closed though, <laughs> and I'm going to smoke while I do it. So Scotty, you should go help him. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah you don't get a respirator though. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, actually, for woodworking, I should be wearing one anyway because I don't have a dust filtration system, and sawdust is actually very, very bad for your lungs. It's got silica in it. Oh yeah. Big and time. Um, then uh, I wanted to talk about this last week, but I realized I didn't actually get permission to do it so i'll talk about it this week i went and toured our, our friend matt's uh new oh. business that they opened it's yeah. called i cryo yeah it's a cryotherapy clinic it's it's more than just that but that's like their main thing yeah uh they do all kinds of they got registered nurses and stuff on staff there that do iv vitamins and and different therapies and treatments and uh it uh, i wanted to give it a plug it's at 2616 north mays road suite 102 there you go um but uh no it is a really nice place and uh i guess they're given like the first cryo treatment for free holy shit anybody who wants to try it so um then you gotta get nine more yeah the right. chiropractor <laughs> <laughs> where you're like god you know i got in one adjustment great we're gonna have to see uh four times a week for the next six years if you, if you don't know who we're talking about it's uh yoga mat yoga, yoga mat, mat was yeah. on, on this show uh one time last year matt magnuson his wife uh, rachel yep they are uh they're the proprietors of it they they studied and went to all these different classes and seminars and everything to kind of get certified in this. And so, um, yeah, it's, it's got all kinds of cool shit in there, but, uh, I would, uh, anybody who's sore, stiff, has anything ailing them, go check them out. There you go. Uh, other than that, that's, uh, that's about all I did. That's it. Did you get in the cryo thing? Did you, did you go free? I stuck my hand in it. Um, I actually did it last Monday so before gave I came job. here. So oh, you, you gave it a hand I, job. I did. I gave it a hand job. I put it up on Scotty's page. <laughs> <laughs> well, I sent the video to Scotty thinking he would put it up on his page. It, so yeah, it's got, it got uh, quite, quite a couple views, man, actually. It's cold. Yeah. <laughs> yes. He, he actually kind of explained to me what went wrong with Antonio Brown uh, and that he's a fucking idiot. <laughs> um, basically, your extremities, your hands, feet, and uh, head are very susceptible to the extreme cold of this. And so... When they do it at their clinic, uh, they have little locker rooms. You get undressed down to your shorts or whatever, and then uh, they have shorts that they provide. They have socks that they provide and gloves that they provide so there's no sweat and moisture built up in there. Antonio Brown just jumped in that fucking thing barefoot. Oh, what and, a fucking and idiot. And burned his fucking feet. <laughs> so <laughs> fucking idiot. That's what happened with that. Yeah. So there's... If done right, there's actually no danger involved with this thing. Yeah. So for wait, anybody wait who's afraid minute, of it, though. what? You said that he ju you're supposed to cover your short, your feet and your hands, and then you stuck your hand in it. Did you go barehanded? Just in for it? a second. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The the treatment's like three minutes. I just 
stuck my hand in. Okay. Yeah. It's it's not that cold. When you stick your hand in there, it feels like, you know, a freezer at a grocery store. Yeah. Okay. But when you're in there, it's it's like negative fifty some degrees it's or something. Fucking like. cold. It's just above absolute zero, guys. Um, I did want to say I uh, I did watch uh, something that you I believe suggested either either on the air or off air to me to watch yeah and it was how to become a tyrant you uh, reviewed that I believe oh yeah God that was that, forever ago it was fucking great yeah it was really great Peter Dinklage narrates mm-hmm. that thing yeah that's and, right and you can't fucking tell it's him. No, because he's British in everything that he plays. Exactly, but he's full fledged American. <laughs> yeah, he's like from New Jersey or something. Right. Shit. Uh, but that's fucking excellent. And then, lastly, uh, unfortunately, uh, we had the passing of uh, Scott Hall uh, a couple days ago. Yesterday or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Which we're technically still on my week. So, um, yeah, I had nothing to do with that. <laughs> okay. I just want that clear. Yeah. Now, last I heard, he was still on life support. Is he? Did no, they pull he pulled him off. Yeah, he, yeah. he passed away. Said he had like a shitload of heart attacks, didn't he? Like, I think so. Yeah. I, I don't know all the details. I know his health was really, really shitty there for a while. Yeah. I know DDP. Speaking of DDP yoga and stuff, like th- where th- he was trying to help. He Scott was. Hall and, uh, there's an excellent uh, documentary, rebuilding Jake the Snake, or resurrecting Jake, Jake the, the Snake, Snake. Yeah, where yeah he basically gets Jake the Snake Roberts out of addiction and all that, and they try and bring Scott Hall into it and. Man, he was in rough shape. I yeah. mean, that dude could barely walk. Uh, I think he did get better for a time, but when you're in that much pain, I, you know, a lifetime of wrestling just really does it to you. And then I think he had some drug and alcohol problems too. And mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, that's just gonna. Yep. That's well, the sad truth of things. Yep. Yeah, and the world they're all dropping. Like next thing you know, Razor Ramon's gonna go. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of DDP. That's There's the a same new show on the what? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah. No, one no. had a toothpick. Yeah. yeah, Scott Hall was in the WCW. Yeah. Razor, they're two totally different guys. <laughs> no shit. Jesus Christ, fine. Honey. Um, but no, yeah. One one did the Razor's Edge. One did the Outsider's Edge. Yeah, come on, two yeah. totally different guys. Two totally. That's like yeah. the Giant and Paul White. Two totally different uh-huh. guys. Right. Gotcha. Undertaker and uh, Dead Man Walking. Two different guys? No, same guy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Duh, you dumb fuck. <laughs> Stunning um, Steve Austin, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Two totally different guys. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, one fucking had hair. <laughs> one was stunning, and the other one was just stone cold. <laughs> Speaking of which. Okay. I saw this on TikTok. Stone Cold's coming back. What? At WrestleMania. No, as, as not at wrestling, though. Right? Yes. Oh, fuck. If I saw correctly, he is uh, wrestling Kevin Owens, and it's totally real. Yeah, uh, they're bringing back the real stuff for one match, right? Wow, <laughs> good stuff. I'm fucking. I, I'm probably gonna actually watch that now. Uh, well, all right, I'll yeah. come over and watch. Isn't it. St- Stone Cold like one step away from being in a wheelchair? Pretty no, much. I don't think so. He was fucking yes in action movies and hosting. I, th- TV I thought shows. his his knees, knees were, are fucking shot. He, he always wore those big ass braces on each knee. And um, speaking of wrestling, by the way. Uh, have you seen on that on Netflix that Guardians of Justice? No, Mm-mm. that stars Diamond Dallas Page. Oh, nice! Yeah, he plays kind of the Batman character in it, and it's—I don't want to say it's funny or even good. Um, it's interesting and different. It's like a mix of live action, anime, and video game. Oh, okay, it's weird. Yeah, I'm out. But I, there is one fucking line in there where they're trying to—they need to move their meeting hall and. Kind of their version of Aquaman is like, you know, the world is 70% water. We should have it underwater. And DDP's like, no, that's fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> just, just totally deadpan. No. Why not? Because <clears throat> that's fucking stupid. <laughs> Are you done? I am done. Okay. <clears throat> Are you? Can we? Yeah, we can. Can keep we on. get out of here? Yeah, we can go. Uh, but before we get on to sports and a, a, a special question, I have we got to give a shout out to our sponsor of every episode, Manscaped dot com. Go to Manscaped <laughs> dot com. They fucking love us over there. Yeah, <laughs> they really do. In fact, I think that's how this commercial <laughs> should go. You just hit the talking points, and I'll reiterate it emphatically. Right. Uh, but no, manscaped.com help uh, guys like us uh, stay well-groomed in our nether regions. They like to say from hole to pole, that Eric likes Shave to say. Shave your balls and your taint, you <laughs> sons of bitches! <laughs> what do you call it, Derek? 
Uh, stank to crank. Yeah, stank to crank. There you go. Uh, but they have excellent products like the Lawnmower 4.0. Um, excellent product to help shave your nutsack and not get all cut up and bleeding and all that other stuff. You use a beard trimmer to do that, it's going to get you all uh, mm-hmm. hacked up, I promise. What's so great about that 4.0, Scotty? That 4.0 has all kinds of different things that make it an excellent product, like the adjustable LED light. Turn that fucking light down! <laughs> It has the docking station. Dock it! (laughs) For charging. A ceramic blade. That's removal. You can remove it. You can. Yeah. So, In fact, they suggest doing that about every 90 days anyway, getting a new one. Whoops. I guess, uh, whoops, I made a mistake on that. I'm surprised you can actually grow pubic hair anyway. (laughs) Just probably not that big a deal. Yeah. Shit my pants just fine, but can't, uh, can't grow pubes. Um, but no, anyways. that's what children do. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Uh, but Manscaped ha- has other products as well, not just the Lawnmower 4.0. They have body washes. They have T-shirts. They have underwear. They have my favorite, the Weed Whacker, to get rid of all of your Whack nose. your goddamn <laughs> weeds! <laughs> <laughs> to get all your nose hairs and air hairs, uh, it's my favorite product because my nose is extremely sensitive. They have the leaf blower. That do they? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yep. That will uh, when you get done shaving your pubes, it blows it all down the drain. Okay. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> wow. 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 You, you making up products for them? Yep. They got the leaf blower. They got the. <laughs> they got the Uber driver. Yeah. <laughs> they got the trencher. It hurts. They got. They got. <laughs> <laughs> they got the garden <laughs> weasel. <laughs> yeah. They've got JP coming over to help you do what you need to do yeah the mm-hmm. trencher actually it waxes your asshole <laughs> oh, so it goes all the way down that stank oh sure does yeah okay no they don't have those products they have they actually do have things like the shears or the manicure kit that's uh that's very yep. nice mm-hmm. they also do very have nice. cologne which is it's pronounced cologne scotty oh, I cologne. the other day <laughs> sorry um the it, snowblower yeah refined is the refined the is cologne. the cologne Uh, But they do have other products. Uh, Do us a favor. Go check them out at manscaped.com. Does anybody know do they have an aftershave? I I think they just have before shave. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not not 100% sure. I'd like to see them come out with an aftershave or even a shave butter. You guys ever shave with shave butter? Yeah. I just use I can't believe it's not shave butter. Sure. (laughs) It's artificial. It's made from vegetable oil. (laughs) Don't know why they love us. But anyways, check them out, manscaped.com. Use uh, the promo code SIDELINES. Get 20% off of your order and free shipping. That helps you out, helps us out. Get the goddamn free shipping, <laughs> would you? And let's Manscaped know uh, that we sent you, so we do appreciate that. Okay, mm-hmm. before we get on to the sports, though, I, there was a question that is making it all the way viral throughout the, the social webs or the interwebs, whatever you want to call it. And the question is very simple. It is... Are there more wheels or doors in the world? I'm going to go with pot, because how high are you to <laughs> fucking actually ponder that question? Who it, gives it, a shit? I, I don't know. I don't know, but I'd like an honest answer from you guys. I honestly think it's wheels. I think it's, it's, it's wheels. It's, gotta it's be not wheels. even fucking close. Okay. Thank uh, you. Think about all the little gadgets out there that have little tiny wheels and shit inside of them. It's, exactly. It's really not even close. Yeah. Then so, again, what constitutes a door? Yeah, like, well, like the car doors and the truck I, doors. I see most people as doors. They're <laughs> yeah? just fucking obstacles for me to run through. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I uh, that was just something I saw, and uh, I figured we'd answer it because, you know, we're cool. Yeah. Uh, but now we got a lot of uh, sports to get to. Um, first things first. I uh, still, by the way, ride around on a chariot. Oh, good. So uh, I got at least two. There yeah. you go. And yeah, no but, doors. But they're square wheels. Oh. They sure are. Really? Yeah, I'm not very good at wheels. I mean, <laughs> I, was, I haven't really progressed that far in my woodworking yet. Okay. You got to get a miter saw. Right. I have one. <laughs> I don't think that'll help. <laughs> oh. I realize I'm still kind of a newbie to the world, but uh, I don't think that's going to do it. That, that's how you make wheels. Everybody knows that, Jerry. Right. Well, yeah. Get a miter saw. <laughs> well, they're, they're not necessarily round, but they're less square. <laughs> <laughs> they're at 45 degree angles. First things first, uh, everybody's extremely happy, at least I am. Uh, we have the end of the Major League Baseball lockout. Boo. It's finally The over. fact that this makes you happy pisses me off. Why? Players got fucked. Because you're happy. Uh, I don't like that. Fuck you. I want baseball. So I, do I. I. I don't want you to want baseball. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, they, uh, they did get the uh, short end of the deal. Yeah, they just fucking caved. I hate that. Pussies. I, I do too. Fucking pussies. I do too. 
So. Uh, I, I would have uh, I would have imagined it would have been more the owners caving a lot quicker. Yeah, I hate this. Now, I'm I, I'm glad that we've got baseball. Uh, it doesn't <clears throat> affect the minor league uh, guys as much. So uh, if you're a wind surge fan, uh, you can still go out Shouldn't and see. Shouldn't affect them at all. No, it doesn't. No, it, it doesn't at all. Uh, you've got a couple of players that are in like Triple A that it would have affected that are a part of the forty man roster and stuff like that. Yeah, there's some in Double A too. And and in Double, there's very few in Double A, but they are there. Belazovic and Austin Martin. I know if yeah. you're on the opening day roster, mm-hmm. that you get. Like major league pay throughout the year, even if you get when you get sent back down and yeah. you get like major league insurance and stuff like that. So there are some benefits to that. God, I gotta get it's, on that roster. Yeah, yeah, for Man. sure. Gotta cause a lot of injuries. I would love to just be a fucking bullpen catcher. That would be the life. Scotty, your dream is to be a catcher. Shut oh, up. Shit. <laughs> And, Fuck you. And uh, we can make that a reality. We know uh, JP. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but April 7th is opening day. I think they have uh, eight games that day, and then the following day is when a majority of them, all the others kick off. That's when my opening day is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, I, I believe that's what it said. I could be wrong. I, I, I couldn't remember if it was the 7th or if it was the week it's after. It's the 7th. It is the 7th. Okay. And we are getting a full 162-game season. Mm-hmm. Yep. So awesome. Pumped for that. Yep. Uh, that we're going to talk a little bit about some other stuff in baseball, free agents and stuff like that. Cause now it's, there's so many signings players are moving or starting to move because at, at the end of the lockout, that's whenever, okay, now you can go and you can, get yeah, they moved. weren't even allowed to discuss contracts with teams. Right. So While they were locked you've out. already got a couple of players that required. <clears throat> um, I know the Braves ended up having to pick up. Uh, I can't remember who the guy it was. from Oakland. Yeah. Oakland. Yeah. Olson, I think. Yeah. So that's the Mary first. Mary Kate Olson. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, She's the fat one, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, one of the sisters, though, is staying back in Oakland. Well, that's what we think, but I have a feeling. She's old school. Yeah. What they're going to do is they're just going to switch places every now and again. Yeah. You know what I mean? So for you're sure. thinking Mary Kate's up to bat, but it's actually Ashley. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. That's what I think is going to happen. Yeah. But it we'll comes get... out, you got it, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, but we'll move on <laughs> t- until real, real, real shit or horseshit. We'll get to back to this in a little bit. But unfortunately, uh, Derek was co- totally correct. We had Selection Sunday for March Madness uh, on Sunday, uh, and KU ended up getting. Oh, I like to think I was actually more correct because I called that they were going to win the fucking Big, Big 12, Twelve tournament. I, I, I'm not all that shocked by it, but. God, they get their knob slobbed they could, so fucking. They could have lost the Big Twelve tournament and been a number one. I don't think Probably. that. I don't. That I, I don't think that would have happened. I really don't. I, I. I think you've got other teams that could have fit that number one a little bit better, even now. But when they won, when they win the Big Twelve tournament, I think you kind of give it to now them. Now they were the fourth number one in, right? Yes, and so that means that they're, in theory, have the toughest number two seed, right? Uh. Kind of. That's Auburn. That's who I would have actually given the the number one seed out okay. of uh, out of that. But uh, other than that, their uh, bracket, I'm not all that impressed with. I'm not saying it's easy, but it's definitely not the most difficult. They always give them the easy one every year. Nice thing about you know KU this time of year for KU. This is prime shit the bedtime. Yep, for KU. Uh huh. Love that. Uh, they won't lose to the 16 seed, but this is again if you're a betting person. And uh, you want to bet on chalk? I would not bet on KU going to like the championship game or anything like well, that. Well, how many? There's what? One, two, three. Is there four Big Twelve teams? Five. I, I think there's more than that, but maybe. Well, you got Texas. Mm-hmm. You got Baylor, Texas Tech, Kansas. I think that's it. Uh, I saw Iowa State. Okay, yep. that's five. <clears throat> yeah, it's about half of them. TCU. Oh. They, they, oh, yeah, they're in there. Six. Jesus. So ha- more than half. Because yeah. we're 10 and 12. Yeah, and if we're missing any, any sorry, you can look that stuff they're up yourself. They're fucking weak, though. It's a weak con- It's always weak, and they always get, they're the strongest one. No, they're not. Yeah, I know. I know. But we actually live in Kansas and kind of know, you know, what to expect. Um, Baylor got a number one seed with six losses. Yeah. That's, I mean, KU did too, but apparently Baylor got the higher seed and they didn't win the fucking tournament. Nope, they kind of got upset. Um, but uh, there was a, a Big 12 coach that departed ways from the other team in Kansas. <laughs> Bruce Weber has resigned for head coach of the K-State basketball team. Go pound sand, you fucking dickhead. <laughs> 
Uh, refer back to that uh, go, go Fuck Yourself. We, we haven't done that in a very, very long time, but it's up. You can go and watch it, and uh, Jeremy lets him have it. That guy can seriously kiss my filthy <laughs> shithole. I am so <laughs> glad he's gone. you got to love the way he went out, though, what he said. Which part? The part about how, well, maybe I just didn't win because I did it the right way. And what do you say? He's not cutting his hair until yeah, the NCAA was, punishes these cheating teams. He's basically just jabbing KU. That's, you know? uh, actually, he was more jabbing Oklahoma and Oklahoma State, is from what I understand. Really? Because really? um, they took a lot of, of the recruits that he was going after. Uh, but, yeah, when, when he actually resigned, he did a press conference where he actually resigned. And he came off classy. And then the next day, he called a second press conference and basically whined and bitched and made a lot of excuses. And, okay, I get it. You know, people who, you know, the, the way shit is set up, it really does favor people who don't follow the rules. Mm-hmm. But that doesn't explain why you lost to Fort Hayes State, shithead. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> You're a loser, you cocksucker. <laughs> I am so glad he's gone. <laughs> well, congratulations, Jeremy. Take your squeaky fucking voice somewhere else. Yeah, feels... Wichita State, maybe. No, please don't. I know we're going to be needing a coach here before too long, but don't I'm, do that. I'm glad you get to finally experience how it feels to get rid of Bruce Weber. <laughs> um, did you see some of the rumored replacements that could that, that I could be on? I haven't. Uh, Chris, uh, what is it? Nance? Chris Jans? Oh shit! Jans yeah. is, pos- is they brought his name up. Yeah, uh, fucking Brad Underwood, the Illini coach. Okay, but he's got about an eight million dollar buyout. I don't think he's going to want to go and rebuild again. Probably not. Uh, and then uh, another one that I read that was a dark possibility: uh, Greg Marshall. Yeah, I don't think so. I think he's kind of blackballed. Yeah, I don't, um, I don't think so. Was Steve Henson's name in there? Uh, the Muppet guy, he's dead. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, he's dead. Huh. <laughs> All right, guys, here's what I want to see. I want to see. We got to play the triangle offense. You got to get down there, and I want you to dunk the ball. Come on, you lazy son of a bitch. <laughs> Uh, Get your ass back up the fucking court and back on defense. <laughs> on, no. on three, win. One, two, three, win. Uh, Steve Henson was a longtime standout, or not a long time, only four years, standout at, at uh, K State, who has been an assistant coach under Lon Kruger for, I'm going to say, roughly 100 years. And uh, everybody keeps saying that it's time for him to step out and be a head coach somewhere. And I would love to see him. Okay. As a head coach there. Uh, Jance would actually be a good pickup for you, too. Uh, he came from Wichita State under Greg Marshall. Uh, and kind of got into some tr- trouble at a bar once, but other than that, not a bad coach. Uh, I like bar trouble. Yeah, sure. What did he do? Uh, I know he it's was... The second time today I've heard bar trouble. Yeah. What did he do? <laughs> he got fucked up, and I can't remember if he... That's was, what you do at bars. No, but like uh, abnormally fucked up, like Derek fucked up. Did he hustle some pool? Yeah, and Did he go to a Waffle House. I don't think he hit anybody, but I think he was. Uh, I can't remember if it was DUI or if he actually like groped on like, a chick kind of thing. But that was that, Roethlisberger <laughs> or Urban Meyer <laughs> or any of these other fuckers, yeah. uh, it, or any of. Uh, uh, how about this guy? Uh, moving on to football, Deshaun Watson will not face criminal charges for nine counts of sexual assault. I really hope it is Henson now. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, just for that reason, because it's Henson. <laughs> God damn it, Rodriguez, if you don't get back on defense, I'm going to shove my whole fist up your ass. <laughs> <laughs> you got him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jeremy does laugh every once in a while on this fucking show. <laughs> it happens. Hon- honestly, uh, you know, Dave from fucking maintenance would be better than Bruce Weber. That's uh, just any old random custodian would be a better coach than that dumb son of a bitch. Yeah. You go out and get me that dog to play point guard. (laughs) You know the one that plays piano? (laughs) Okay. Moving on. Uh, We've got some football to talk about. We've got, uh, like I said, Deshaun Watson will not face any criminal charges, uh, nine counts of sexual assault. Uh, Jury, I guess, uh, said he was not guilty. So now the Pittsburgh Steelers. Not a jury. uh, Benjamin Franklin. Lots of Benjamin Franklin. (laughs) (laughs) Well, Uh, that's all I saw. When it comes to shit like this, when you've got to actually prove it in court and a prosecutor didn't think he could do so. And if you take it to trial and you can't find them guilty, you can't do it again. Yeah. So, you know, 
having not enough evidence is not the same as not guilty, but I I hate, <laughs> you know, trying shit in the court of public opinion. Too. I, I like the imagine <laughs> in the courtroom where we would like, uh, yes, we would like to call exhibit A. Uh, may the defendant please present his fingers. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Jesus. Guilty. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, but, yeah, so um, I don't know where Deshaun Watson goes. I don't know if he stays in Houston. I did hear that he has been talking to uh, several teams, one of them being the Atlanta Falcons, um, also the Cleveland Browns. Baker Mayfield probably didn't like that very much, but he's he's around meeting teams right now, so he may yeah. be out of Houston. There, um, there are still, with the legal proceedings, there are still civil mm-hmm. lawsuits that I've heard a lot of teams are waiting to see how that comes out or yeah. to get that out of the way sure. before, because that's going to be a huge off-the-field distraction. Right. Um, next one, Aaron Rodgers signs with the Green Bay Packers four-year, $200 million deal. Big fucking deal. I, he's never going to win another Super Bowl. I was just getting ready to say, why are you paying him all this fucking money? He's he's won one Super Bowl. And I've also read now that Devontae Adams will mm-hmm. not accept the franchise tag. He wants a contract. He's wow. going to hold out if they hit him with that franchise tag. Yep. Wow. So they have zero dollars. Because <laughs> Rodgers is then going to go, you got one of my wide receiver. Is, uh, you guys don't draft who I want. You release everybody. Yeah. Don't make me get the shot. And what right. is it? It's I, I heard that the first year is forty seven million. The second year is fifty four million, which come that year he will be the highest paid player in, in NFL history for that season. And those first two years pay are guaranteed. Yeah, hundred and fifty three is guaranteed pay. For it's, three, it's, I think. It's for three. Yeah. yeah. So So no Super Bowl for Green Bay. Yeah. I'm good with it. Yeah. I am good with it. Um, but Great you, contract, guys. Yeah, but uh, now Patrick Mahomes officially has more rings than Aaron Rodgers. He got married over the weekend. Yeah, Dude. she's got to have some dirt on. God, him. there's. I swear, I saw I saw like a YouTube video of somebody saying like she's actually related to somebody in the mob. Like, she's got, she's got to have like a video of him beating the shit out of a quadriplegic. Something. Or something. I bet she's related to whoever it is that owns that that uh, buffet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Yes. Oh, part Lord. of the Chinchetti crime family. <laughs> do you think they let? Do you think they let Jackson into the wedding? Oh God! <laughs> you think he, I, you think he videos it? Yeah, right? I, th- I think as she's walking down the aisle, he's behind her filming a TikTok dance. I think that's what happened. <laughs> oh, don't! I know they're already married, but God. yeah, Ugh. I feel bad for the guy. I really do. Like this is the biggest like red flag. Ever, she is a red flag. <laughs> exactly, that's what she should go at every year for Halloween. <laughs> mm-hmm. A red flag, red flag. Yeah. Uh, next one. She's a bigger red flag than China's flag. Right. <laughs> that's how big of a red flag that bitch is. Uh huh. She is just so the opposite of everything he is. He yeah. seems like he's like a nice, laid back, <laughs> cool dude, and she's a cunt. Like, like if he walked into a room of, uh, crowded with people. He wouldn't try and draw attention to himself. I mean, he would get all the attention being sure. Patrick Mahomes, but he wouldn't just be like, everybody look at me. Whereas she would walk in ahead of him and go, whoa, we got Patrick Mahomes here. Right. Look who we got here. We got Patrick <laughs> Mahomes, my husband. <laughs> yep. That's about dead on correct. That's, yeah. that's dead on accurate. Uh, I was going to say something else about it, but I, I lost it. I lost it. Uh, moving on to the next one. I'm sorry, Derek. Khalil Mack to the Chargers. Yeah. What do you think? Why not? <laughs> yeah. He wasn't on the field a lot. He was hurt a lot. You get what you can for him. He's going to be a huge cap casualty yeah. or, or cap hit next year, big time. They're saving a lot of money trading him. He's a, I like the guy. Let him give him a chance to win. Yeah. I mean, I'm yeah. low key going to be rooting for the Chargers this season. Probably me too. And uh, there's another uh, bear that has signed with someone. Oh, really? Yeah, former bear. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Mitch I heard about Trubisky. this. Oh, yeah, that's right. He is a Pittsburgh Steeler. So enjoy that one, motherfuckers. Okay. All right. So mm-hmm. I got to tell you something. I saw something on uh, Cowherd today that the, he was comparing quarterbacks I for saw the this. last four years. And Mitch Trubisky has better numbers than these guys Tannehill, ass, Russell Wilson. Ass last year. Yeah, and I can't remember the other old two. Old Drew Brees. Yeah, old Drew Brees. Ass. Ass, yeah, you're right on and that. And Baker Mayfield. And Baker Mayfield. Ass. Ma- that ass. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Good, good call. Yeah. Which uh, 
he will Russell Wilson will be in Denver next year. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's, that's a, another big one. Boy, how how about this? Fuck. Speaking of that, yes, I got something. You for got that Russ, too. You got Russ Wilson in Denver, and now you've got Khalil Mack on the Chargers opposite Joey Bosa. Mm-hmm. Mahomes, you're going down, yeah. motherfucker, <laughs> going down. Um, I, every Denver. Broncos fan was just like so excited. It's like, finally, we've got a quarterback. Yes, you do, but you now have the third best quarterback in your division. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, congratulations, but uh, yeah, the Chargers have kind of done what, okay, uh, back when the Dallas Cowboys were in the 90s, Mm -hmm. they won three out of four. That one year that they didn't win, the San Francisco 49ers basically built a team in the offseason specifically designed to beat the Cowboys. Mm Mm-hmm. And they did, and then they went on to win the Super Bowl. But that's basically what the Chargers are doing. They're not, they're not trying to find a way to match the Chiefs. They're finding a way to get past their strong points. Yep. And yep. Uh, which I don't give a fuck about the Chiefs anymore. There are some other moves, but no news bigger than this. Uh, we were briefly talking about it weeks ago, how nobody knew what this guy was actually doing and whether or not he was not going to be there. But Tom Brady lied to everybody after spending like four weeks at home with his family. He got sick and tired of those bitches and said, nope, I'm going to go back and play football for the Bucks." Love it. Love every fucking minute of it. Gronk's probably a little pissed. I'm a Bucks fan and I'm a Chargers fan. <laughs> Bears are, they're not, I'm going to watch them and I'm going to root for them, but they're not going to do anything. But I'm I'm in the playoffs, Bucks and Chargers, baby. Let's go. Yeah. I'm I'm kind of pumped for this. Didn't uh, their whole fucking team leave? <clears throat> no. The whole Bucks team. They kind of held on to see what happened and now that Brady's coming back, I think that a lot of the guys are going to end up sticking around. Except uh, Antonio Brown. He's uh, yeah, he's, he's uh, not. Well, he, he quit. Yeah, he quit. But no, I I, you, I huh? I was going to say did you see the shit that that like was it 3 days ago, 4 days ago? They auctioned off Tom Brady's last touchdown. Yes, five hundred and some thousand dollars, half a million dollars. Way to go, and buddy! And now they it's it's estimated to be worth about twenty five to thirty grand. Yep. In my opinion, Tom Brady owes that fucker. <laughs> the fuck he does. <laughs> no, that guy had half a million dollars to spend on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's fine. Oh man. Oh, I'm sure he's fine. But still, this is that's really shitty, Brady. I think all this is shitty. Of like Brady. I do, too. You this are is... fucking with an entire organization. There are a bunch of other people on the team besides you who have to work around who their quarterback is going to be, and you're wasting everybody's fucking time. He's you br- knew you weren't going to fucking retire. Why'd you even say it? And he comes out on Selection Sunday mm-hmm. where to, to steal the fucking story. Do you remember, okay, when the, the Chiefs beat the Niners in the Super Bowl? Mm-hmm. He bought advertising time during that Super Bowl, because it's the one he wasn't associated with, to let everybody know that he was going to be back in the league that next year. He didn't know where he was going to be, but I'm going to be back. All right. You fucking diva. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Rodgers did the same shit. He gets they, The deal gets announced. Then, like, right after, they announced the Russell Wilson trade. And then Rodgers is like, well, I didn't sign that deal yet. <laughs> like, Shut the fuck up, dude. <laughs> I I don't know. I, part of him, part of him doing this kind of pisses me off. I really like the guy. I, I like he's got swag. He's the goat. You I'm, fucking hated him. I did. Whenever he was a patriot, I fucking hated Tom Brady. I love the guy now. I f- I feel like he's having fun. He's uh, more personable. Uh, I I don't despise him. Uh, this is just such a fucking self centered fucking move. Yeah. Uh, he he's this is reminding me of uh, Brett Favre when Favre was yes, doing this. and he held his team fucking hostage. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but last, uh, last before we get on to real shit or horse shit. I couldn't shit. believe oh. anything that the guy said. I didn't even know if Wranglers really were real comfortable jeans. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you found out they were, right? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the last one before we get into real shit or horse shit. Uh, probably my favorite news out of anything that's on this piece of paper uh, is found out that Joe Buck is leaving Fox for ESPN. Therefore, he will no longer be the announcer for the World Series. Good. Great. That's Woo! wonderful. Fuck that guy. But I'm he will be the announcer for Monday Night Football. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no. Who's he going to do it with, you know? Uh, fucking, I don't know. Who cares? Is he just going to be there bastard. all around 
sports guy, or is he specifically going for Monday Night Football? I, I believe it's mainly Monday Night Football, which I sh- I, I do hope so. Because uh, there's a lot of baseball on ESPN too. Yeah, not but not as much. Most of the time, it's on whatever like sports channel that they have. Um, unless like prime time, sometimes you'll have you'll have that like Sunday Night game. You'll have the yeah ESPN on it. But but anyways, okay. Now we get to move on to real shit or horse shit. Speaking of baseball, we're going to start off with it. First one, real shit or horse shit, Freddie Freeman will not be a brave by the beginning of the 2022 season. That's pretty much set in stone. That is real shit. Yeah, it's real shit. Yep. I'm yeah, they, kind of they upset. They don't sign that guy. But his, his ultimate ending to his Atlanta Braves legacy, caught the last out of the World Series. Won a World Series. Won, I think his last at bat was a home run. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, it's just sad because the teams that they're talking about him going to is just is the pieces of shits of baseball, which is the New York Yankees, the Los Angeles Dodgers are coming hard for him, and a team I kind of hope he does go to just because I don't hate him as much, which is the Toronto Blue Jays. So, like, I, I just I don't want him to go and be on one of those teams that I can't stand. Does that make sense? Yeah. Just because I love him so much. He's such a good person. I'd love to have him in Chicago, but we're not going to spend any money. We got Andrelton Simmons for a one-year deal, so we're Ooh, set. We're good. Darn. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, next one. Uh, I thought this one was kind of funny. Uh, real shit or horse shit? This is a quote from New York City Mayor Eric Adams. It is time to allow women to play baseball in the major leagues. Fuck yeah. If you can make the team play. <laughs> yes. This is real fucking shit. Okay. What? Which part are we saying real shit or horse shit to what he's saying or to the statement that he's making? Uh, what do you mean? What he's saying? I think they should be allowed. Or are we are we saying that he's horse shit? Because he is. He is um, horse shit. Because this is, people need to know before they make these grand statements what the fuck they're talking about. <laughs> there is absolutely zero rule that says a woman cannot play in the major leagues. There's also no or rule that says a dog can't play <laughs> in junior high basketball. But. This is the problem is that, okay, 99.9% of men are not good enough to play in the major leagues. And that's kind of low. It's like 99.99. Like, there's. I was being (laughs) brief (laughs) for time, you ass fuck. You really want to get into the goddamn (laughs) mathematics of it? No, I'm good. Can you imagine being the first dude that got pinch hit for with a broad? Oh, God. But some team will fucking do it because there's assholes like this. Yes. And they're going to put in some softball player, and she's going to come in and bunt and get, you know, fucking thrown out just like everybody thought she would, and they're not going to. You know, somebody's going to toss her up a fucking meatball so she can bun it. They're not going to give her any chin music. Nah, I don't think so. And then they're, she's going to come off the field to this huge standing ovation like they fucking accomplished something. Yeah. This is fucking stupid. I, it's fucking stupid. But here's the other thing. It's real shit. I agree 100% with, with Jeremy. If you think you can you can hang, <clears throat> you can't. You can't. It's it's physically <laughs> impossible. Um, they did a, a scientific study on how fast uh, the fastest uh, baseball thrown by a female is like 78 miles an hour. Yes. So you're not even getting close to some of these things. And I, they, they always want to bring up those instances where a, a softball pitcher strikes out a major league batter. Oh, yeah, sure. It, it's really okay here's here's what happens it's not that the major league player is not good enough to hit that mm-hmm. they want to take a baseball swing at a softball pitch yeah. if you ever watch a softball batter when they bat they don't take a, a step in they fucking just throw the bat at the fucking thing sure and they just hope to make contact with it and that's why the fence is only 200 fucking feet right and there's a lot of other things that come into play the delivery for softball how sure. close the mound is or, or the rubber is yes. to us i mean there's a lot of things that you, come into you play. have less time to decide whether or not you're going to swing but you also don't have to worry about whether it's going to fucking kill you Mm -hmm. exactly so real shit but i mean bring it on i think it'd be fucking hilarious and demeaning but um (laughs) what what are you getting demeaning yeah um next one uh real shit or horse shit with carson wentz in dc the commanders will win their division next season horse shit that's dallas's division is it yep the yeah. idea that Carson Wentz is going to make any team better. Hey, man, you never know. They're I mean, playing. I guess they played with a backup the entire season. He did play with a – okay, Here, here's what gets me, is that he really didn't play awful with the Colts last year, and no. they still couldn't wait to get rid of him. Sure. Apparently, he is a dick. Yeah. 
and he is just unbearable in the locker room. Apparently, he's like overly in your face Christian. Oh, to where guys can't don't feel like they can be themselves, like they can't cuss, and if <clears throat> if they do, he gets on your ass. Oh, kind of thing. And yeah, it's that's weird. Fucking, he's a jackass, and I don't know why anybody would want to bring him in. He sucks everywhere he goes. Yeah, uh, yeah. This is uh, this is horseshit. I agree. Um, I do think. Dallas is a better team, but I'm still not 100% convinced with the Cowboys uh, winning the division. It's just That's just me because I can't do it. But anyways, Derek, you said that's uh, horse, or you said that's horse, horse shit. Absolutely, uh, yeah. It's okay. Dallas is you don't team. think the Eagles got a shot? No. That, I, I, that's kind of my other team that I, I, I'd say has a better shot than the Commanders in all seriousness. Mm-hmm. Yeah, with Jalen Hurts coming on, I, I think they've got a shot. Uh, next one. Now with Tom Brady returning to the Bucks, they are now again a Super Bowl contender. Real shit. If Tom Brady is on your team, you are a Super Bowl contender. Tom Brady could take the Lions to the fucking Super Bowl. Oh, don't say that. I think he could. I would still say this is real shit, but that would just be magical. He, Why wouldn't he do that? He could take the Lions to the Super Bowl because if he went to the Lions, they would then bring in a bunch of fucking great players <laughs> around him. They would break the bank to to build a team around him. Um, yeah, this is real shit. However, I still think that the Rams have a stranglehold on the NFC. Uh, I do too. I, I think the Rams um, have a chance of possibly even repeating in all seriousness. Yeah, so. but last year we thought the Bucks could repeat. Every year it's, everybody thinks it's the same two teams that are going to be in the Super Bowl yeah. for the most part. Yeah, for sure. But I, I really do think that how dominant the Rams are, they've got a fucking damn good shot. When's the last time we had back-to-back the, NFC, AFC teams in the, the Super Bowl? The Denver Broncos, I thought. Well, because well, they beat the they lost to the Seahawks and beat the Panthers. That's right, that's right. I can't remember who it was. Was it Buffalo-Dallas? Were they back to back? They were back to back. Oh, you're talking the same Just two the same teams. Same two, same two teams. teams? Yeah. Oh shit. Same two. Yeah, yeah. I think it was wow. Buffalo Dallas. Wow. Uh, no, wait. Oh wait, no. Green Bay and Denver wasn't back in the '90s. That that wasn't two years in a row. No, it was Green Bay two years in a row, but they won one, lost one. They they beat the Patriots. Pa- Patriots. Yeah, yeah, that's right. The pre pre Brady wow. Patriots. All right. And the Bledsoe Patriots. Yeah. Um. But, yeah, it, it sounds like the Rams have done nothing but improve their team. They're still young enough, too. Yeah. They've got all the pieces there. Yep. Last one. Real shit or horse shit in March Madness this year, a number one seed will not win the national championship. Oh, man. Ho, ho, ho. Look at it. Look if at a one it. seed does win, it's going to be Gonzaga or Arizona. I, I would agree. Uh, what's Gonzaga's bracket look like? I I, I mean, without being too freaking critical and, and everything like that, do you think that... I'm going to say real shit. Okay. Yeah. I, I'm going to agree with you. I'm going to say real shit <clears throat> because of the two teams that I think that have the best shot of winning it, it's... Gen- First one's Gonzaga. Gonzaga looks dominant. Um, I like how they play. And the next one is going to be Arizona. I bet you, I'm going to side bet this, though. I bet you the uh, Kansas Jayhawks don't make it to the Elite Eight. I don't think the Jayhawks make it to the Sweet 16. I hope you're fucking right. That would be awesome. But I don't think that that's as realistic. Jeremy, how about you? I, I don't think that a number one will win the national championship, basically because they're still doing the fucking COVID protocol shit. Mm. So there's just too much extra chance for players, the best players, to get knocked out and not okay. be allowed to play. All right, fair enough. It's anybody's tournament, guys. Yeah, let's go. All right, that's uh, real shit or horse shit for this week. Now we get to move on to the ever-growing uh, favorite part of My every dick. single. Yeah, this is your dick. Um, but My anyways, stomach. yeah, right. This is uh, bad advice with Jeremy. Those I should are- set my bottle down a little louder. Yeah, you should. Knock over more shit. Uh, but this is bad advice with Jeremy. Every single week, uh, I check my Instagram and look for certain people that give us... Are talking about the gram? 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Instagram, which is at laughing on the sidelines. Um, you can go through that and uh, you can send us a message of a, a particular situation that you are in. We will look at the ones that we like best and the ones that have the most details and ones that Jeremy likes the most. He gets to pick uh, which ones we get to read. So this week, uh, this is uh, somebody. Uh, let's see. What do we got here? Okay. Here it is. Uh, this is at, I want to say that's spelled incorrectly, but at Johnson Bourne, I believe, uh, 323. He writes, Jeremy. I finally have a chance to get some honest advice. I want to introduce toys into the bedroom with my wife. What would be the best way to go about it? Jesus Christ. That's Johnson Bourne. <laughs> I love those TikToks. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, yeah, marriage can be tough. You need to spice things up in the bedroom. You got to keep things interesting. And, and bringing in toys is uh, a way that some people do this. Now, I'm going to have to read between the lines here a little bit. Uh, first off, when you say uh, bring toys into the bedroom, you clearly don't mean for her. The last thing you want to do is show her just how inadequate and unimpressive you really are. Uh, she would just find out how good she could be having it, and she's going to leave. Um, so we're talking about toys for you. Now, basically 90% of all sex toys can be boiled down into two categories. The ones you go into and the ones that go into you. <laughs> now, the ones that you go into, I'm sure, are nice. But they're typically, I don't think, as good as the real thing, which it sounds like you have access to. So I'm going to have to assume that you're looking for the ones that go into you. <laughs> Now, Scotty, I know this is really more your area of expertise. <laughs> However, this is not bad advice with Scotty. Nobody needs to hear you talk more than you have to. So I'm going to give you the best advice that I know how. First off, you got to go out and get you some toys. And you're going to have to prove to her that you really, really want this. So you need to go whole hog on this. I mean, max out some fucking credit cards, dude. Go, back, go in there and buy all the shit that they got every size get the beads anywhere from marble to bocce ball size everything in between get your rubber dicks your rubber fists whatever they have available buy that fucking place out bring them home now you don't want to spring this on her right away you know hide them get get the clothes out of that chest of drawer and just fill them up <clears throat> have them at the ready though then when it comes sex time uh, since you are married, we all know how this works. Uh, you remember when sex used to be spontaneous? Can't be anymore. For now, for some reason, now she's got to go in the bathroom and get ready. Uh, while she's doing that, you just break one out and start using it. <laughs> Have her walk into that scene. You really don't need her for this. Let her know that. She's unimportant. If she wants to get involved here, she can. In fact... Get one of those ones with the double ends on it so you can use it at the same time if you really want to. Uh, get, get ones with the strap on. Get whatever you want. Just be using it on yourself when she gets into the room. Now, she's going to do this reluctantly, most likely, and um, at least once because probably going to find out at that point that you didn't do the necessary prep work and you're going to pull a Scotty but on the bed. <laughs> She is then going to be repulsed, and now she's never going to want to do this again, and you're going to be stuck with a drawer full of dildos. <laughs> That's okay. Now, you will not be able to sell these on Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> Their resale value really kind of sucks. But... That's why you need to be very insistent, very pushy. And she's not going to like this. This is a good way to get rid of these because she's going to leave your ass and she gets to take half of your shit, which means she's going to leave with half of your dildos. <laughs> and now she's going to find out she never needed you in the first fucking place. And now you get to use all the toys you want in the bedroom and nobody's going to bitch about it. And that's my advice. <laughs> Oh, jeez. I like the double-headed, use it at the same time. <laughs> uh -huh. Like yeah. a reverse lady in the tramp. <laughs> I know. You get to find out what that scissoring thing is all about. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, thank you very much, at Johnson Born 323 uh, Again, guys, if you uh, would like to be a part of this particular segment, send us uh, your uh, bad advice suggestions at laughing on the sidelines on Instagram. Okay, my goodness. God, I love that segment. All right, now we get to move on to over... How would you have advised him, Scotty? <laughs> Start an only hand. <laughs> yeah. Start an only hands. 
Um, sure. Yeah. You can make some money that way, I'm sure. Right. Okay. How much you make, Scotty? <laughs> None on that particular side. Okay. I haven't got a single follower yet. Okay. Hey, Move. You're about to blow up. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, like we're a very popular podcast. Yeah, it's right. like, word out. It's yeah. like your only hands just went on Shark Tank. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's going to crash. Yeah, we get a call. And from for me. that reason, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> but Mark Cuban is in. All you right. bet he is. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody can make that fucking goal, he, he is. <laughs> okay. All right. Moving on. We get to get to overrated or underrated. Um, yeah. Again, if you have any suggestions for this, uh, you can send them to at laughing on the sidelines on Instagram as well. Uh, first one is actually from a uh, listener. This is at unfiltered perspective. Uh, this That's is our mo- podcast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but this is, we, actually- we asked this question. Oh, what? Me and Jeremy did. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's our podcast. Yeah. Okay. The unfiltered perspective. Oh, gotcha. Uh, but he wants to know overrated or underrated heckling. Go to hell, you piece of shit. <laughs> Fuck you, Scotty. <laughs> Okay. Blow it at your ass! <laughs> By the way, if you ever are going to heckle at a comedy club, that's that's the one you just... Don't don't make any comment on their jokes or anything. Just, hey, blow it at your ass! <laughs> There's no good comeback to that. Right. I still remember years ago whenever I was with a couple comics and we went down to see Anthony Jeselnik. Uh-huh. And we, were, we actually had like second row seats and it was in Kansas City at the Midland Theater. Okay. And I told one of the comics, I was like, I will give you a hundred dollars as if as soon as Anthony Jesselnick comes out, you just stand up and go, He's not black. <laughs> <laughs> I thought his name was Anthony Jesselnick. <laughs> and then just leave. Like that, oh, that would have been hilarious. Uh-huh. How was it? <laughs> he didn't do it. Oh, what a puss. <laughs> yeah, and you know, it was Biggs that wouldn't do it. Really? Wow. Yes. It's probably the walk. Um. (laughs) (laughs) he actually uh he went and sat him and the uh, Romy actually went and sat in the like last row because they didn't want to be seen up front and made fun of because they were bigger guys i was gonna Um, say was this pre-surgery Romy? yep pre-surgery that's a lot of beef you know what's even worse is in that whole trip to kansas city i rode in the back of a mustang (laughs) (laughs) and you were probably the most comfortable one there oh i don't know oh man uh, but no, seriously, this is uh, from a comedian's perspective, overrated oh, or underrated. Okay. Absolutely. It's, you're an asshole. Yeah. Yes. You're, you're never helping. You think, oh, they, they like it what I do. No, they don't. You're <laughs> ruining the fucking show. There's like comics that only thrive off of heckling, mm-hmm. and that's their whole act is just talking to the audience. Fuck it. Have fun with them. But most comics don't like that shit. Yeah. As, a, as an audience <laughs> member... I'm going to say overrated as well because it ruins the show for the people who are sitting there wanting to actually watch the excellent material coming from an excellent comedian. And with you shouting and trying to get a, draw attention to yourself, it pisses people like me off. So overrated. Yes, it's, it's way overrated. I, I have never understood the, the mindset behind it. This is somebody who has written out material and are, they're performing a show Laugh or don't laugh. That's your only two off. If, it's one thing if they ask you a question, you know, or do some crowd work with you. But the idea that you're going to make the show better, not to mention they have the microphone. They have all the power. You're not going to win. They can talk over you. And yes, you're pissing everybody else off in the room. So either way, they're going to turn on you, mm-hmm. except for that handful of people who are like, oh, we can do this now. And so then they fucking join it. And yes, you, you ruin everything. You wouldn't do that at a movie or at a play or anything like that. Why would you do it at a fucking comedy show? Yep. Fuck every one of you. <laughs> That's a whole separate statement, by the way. That right. has nothing to do with heckling. Just fuck every one of our goddamn listeners. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. Go find that guy who just bought all those sex toys <laughs> and go fuck yourselves with him. <laughs> right. Next one. Overrated or underrated? Talk to text using punctuation. Underrated. Okay. Absolutely. That's the only way I talk to text so I don't look like a fucking idiot. When people are reading it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't care if you look at me like I'm an idiot when I'm doing it. Yeah. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> sorry, I, sorry, I know grammar. Yeah. Uh, I'm shocked, actually. I figured like those people would piss you off. No, I do it. 
I I 100% do it too. And it doesn't always work sometimes. Sometimes it'll say something and then the word period will be sp- like spelled out. And I can't shit. ever get it to do that. Like my wife is on her period. It just puts, <laughs> it a, puts dot. a dot. <laughs> Every time. No, I and I think it's very important. I'm fucking, you know, doing the comma, period, question yeah. mark, whole, all of it. If if you just ramble out a whole sentence in a text message, I'm going to think you're a fucking idiot. I want to try something. I don't know if you yell if it'll go in all caps. I oh. always say that's yelling. Let's check this out. All right. I don't think it will. Text Scotty. <laughs> Come on. There it is. Isn't it? Fuck you! <laughs> No. Nope. Exclamation point. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, you know. <laughs> it said nope. <laughs> so, fuck, you know, exclamation point. Yeah. yeah. I actually was listening to the radio today. I had my phone, and I accidentally hit. I was in the middle of texting my wife, and I hit the microphone button, and it picked up everything that the guy on the radio said. Oh, yeah. Um, but, no, it's uh, – do, do you want my honest opinion on this? Sure. Uh, we live in a world where the written word is how people communicate anymore um, between social media posts, text message, emails, all that shit. If you want to not look like a retard, learn fucking grammar. Learn to punctuate because otherwise you're just going to run all your sentences together and you're going to come off sound like a fucking moron. Yep. There's no context there. Not only that. All um, of you can fuck yourselves. <laughs> not, well, not only I'm that. back to that. I'll also say one other thing, that if you don't put correct punctuation in particular sentences, you end up saying something completely yes. fucking different. Yes. So, yeah, use them, even if you do look like a fucking schmuck. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, next one. Overrated or underrated, discharging a firearm in a residential area. Oh, fucking underrated. <laughs> Sometimes those kids need to get off my goddamn lawn. <laughs> You gotta go all Gran Turismo. <laughs> Absolutely, I'm right. Gran uh, Torino. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. No Gran Turismo. <laughs> yeah. 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 You wanna go with the GTO? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah absolutely. Um, yes. This is uh, this is definitely underrated, man. Uh, you know, exercising your right and stuff. I'll uh, I'll take it. Jeremy, I happen to know this for a fact. <laughs> Can I tell you the story? Oh, fuck yeah, you can. My son and I used to shoot competitive sporting clays. And I bought him this uh, gun from a reputable brand. However, when they made shotguns, this was a big thing for a lot of brands. They had them made. They were all made in the same factory in Turkey Mm -hmm. with zero quality control. And then they brought them over here. They expected you to buy them, then shipped them off to their gunsmiths in the United States to do all the warranty work to get them all handcrafted. They could save money by doing that, right? So my son was shooting in a competition. His got all jammed up. It was a semi-automatic shotgun. Uh, It got jammed up to where the the shell wouldn't release out of the fucking magazine. So I'm sitting there at the kitchen table, dicking with it, trying to pry it out, and the fucking thing finally breaks loose, goes up (laughs) in the chamber, fucking goes, and fires. (laughs) Right through the fucking roof. The hole is still there in the ceiling. I was going to say, I know exactly where this is at. I think I do, too. It left a hole the exact size of the wad in the ceiling, but it blew a basketball-sized hole out of the roof. Oh, fuck. I mean, just... And here's the thing. Especially at that time, I didn't know shit about fixing a roof. I didn't know anything about shingling. I was going to just go to Lowe's and try and buy a tarp or something to cover it up because it was supposed to rain like hell that night. And the kid who helped me was, like, asking me all these in-depth questions. And usually the kids there don't know shit. Mm -hmm. And finally, I kind of told him because he started to sound like he knows what he's talking about. It turns out this guy's a licensed roofer (laughs) along with working there. He's like, I just did a guy's roof in the same shingles as what you have. I have some left over. I'm getting off my shift now. I can come over and fix it. 50 bucks. No shit. On a Sunday evening. He worked until 930 that night. And by 1030, it was raining like a motherfucker oh that my. night. I mean, he had me totally bent over the fucking barrel. He could have charged me $500, and I would have had no choice. Yeah. And he fixed it perfectly. Jeez. What would have been fucking hilarious is like, hell yeah, he fixed the roof. <laughs> 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 Woo! Do it again. Fuck. <laughs> Try now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jesus. All right. Next one. Overrated or underrated? Helen Keller quotes. Overrated. 
Really? Yeah, there's only one. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah, it's overrated. No, she actually really did have, have quotes. Yes, she did. She did really she? did. Yeah. Absolutely. You close your eyes to sleep. Somebody <laughs> asked her once. Oh. And she said, I don't know. I was never awake for it. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Uh, I, I found this one uh, overrated, definitely. Um, she could talk. So, no. Yes, she could, actually. Oh, well, very. She poor. gave speeches and stuff. Yeah. What did really? she just say? Like, wah, wah? No, she actually learned to talk fairly well. There's recordings of her wow. giving speeches. God damn it. But uh, for a long time, yeah, it was just... Uh. <laughs> That's the way I like to remember. Yeah. That's how I like my baby Jesus. She right. got a eight college pounds, degree. Eight ounces. I know. Well, then fine. The, I think it's on her. Don't the, even know a word yet. The, yeah. <laughs> Look, the, quotes that, the quotes that Derek and I are thinking of, those are underrated then. Yeah. Right. How about you, Jeremy? Uh, they're just rated, <laughs> <laughs> but they're rated R. Yeah, they are. Uh, all right, last one. Overrated or underrated? Monkeys throwing poop at the zoo. I've never seen that happen. Are you serious? Yeah. You're kidding me. No. Oh, wow. Oh, have you at least seen videos of it? No. Um, This is fucking underrated as hell. Like, I've seen, uh, I had a good streak, like, three visits in a row where I watched an animal fuck. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, granted, I filmed it, and <laughs> I was part of it, <laughs> but he wanted it. Yeah, right. Sure. <laughs> he wanted yeah, it. Yeah. yeah. He had you send it to him, didn't yeah, he? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Of course. See what that, what that chameleon was wearing? Right. Oh, God. Uh, no, this is seriously underrated, and, and it's always it always seems to be like whenever they're being uh, overstimulated. So like when kids are on field trips and shit like that, mm -hmm. there are more things that are around there because they them. fucking hate you. <laughs> yes, they really don't. They're like wild people. animals, right? Uh, but yeah, that is uh, apparently whenever it happens the most is on field trips, and they legitimately do take poop and throw it at the windows and oh. all kinds of shit. Well, fuck kids. That's <laughs> underrated, then. <laughs> yes, it's underrated as hell. No, don't fuck kids. <laughs> no, yeah. Don't. What do you That's mean? been a long, <laughs> long running thing on here. You're not supposed to do that? No. Uh, I mean, Whatever. Yeah. yeah. I mean, <laughs> you do you, bro. No, 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 no. no I mean, it's 2022, no, Jeremy. No. You're right. I, yeah. No. Kids are people, too. Yeah. yeah. I draw the line at that one. Absolutely not. How about you, Jeremy? That's, That's how we get out of doing this podcast, <laughs> yeah. Eric. We just talk about fucking kids yeah. all the time. It's not pedophilia if he's dead. No, That's right. That's fucked up. God. How about you, Jeremy? <laughs> well, Scotty, I've <laughs> never actually seen a monkey do it. I've only seen a chimpanzee do it. They're Whatever. not monkeys. Fair enough. Um, no, it's great. <laughs> it's fucking, it's fucking great. You have an almost human-like animal just throwing feces? <laughs> At least they had the good sense not to do it in their pants, Scotty. Yeah, right. That's actually why I can't wait for Alzheimer's to set in. Because that's happening. <laughs> you going to throw shit? Oh, fucking hey, I am. You know that's not a symptom. It, well, it is now. <laughs> it will be. It is now. I have that new kind of fecal-throwing sure. Alzheimer's. Yeah. Right out of this fucking ice cream machine. Here we go. <laughs> I, got, I got Pooheimers. Yeah. <laughs> Straight into the microwave. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right. Well, that is overrated and underrated. 12 minutes on week. that. Yeah. I want to talk about something real quick. Go for it, man. I seen this fucking thing on TikTok, and I don't know if I sent it to you guys, but it is the most horrifying thing ever. Uh-oh. It was a guy talking about a prank he pulled on his family. Oh, no. He said that he woke up one day, like it, like a long, long time ago, this guy's brother uh, had shit or had farted in his face. He said, like, I mean, it was like a wet <laughs> fart. Mm -hmm. And he's like, and this is the worst way I've ever woken up. I don't know. It's a little bit longer of a story there. And then he said that he'd held on to that for years, like eight years, vowing to get his brother back. And finally, one day he was researching pranks on Reddit. Mm-hmm. And he found what was titled as the worst prank of all time. And basically, he said what he did was he went and he melted a tub of butter. And then he shit in the butter tub. And then poured the <laughs> melted butter back on the shit to let it coagulate oh my and God. harden. And that <laughs> it did this and it masked the smell of the poop. <laughs> and that he, they were eating dinner, and the butter was out of the table, and the whole family was eating the butter. Oh, no. And it had been sitting out for a couple of hours, and at one point, it started to smell. 
<laughs> and he tried to hurry up and put it back in the fridge, but it, his family just told him to leave it out or whatever. And then uh, at one point, <laughs> uh, his mother, I believe, had dipped the knife into the butter and pulled out, and it was a little bit of a brown spot on the end of the knife. <laughs> oh, no. And she got completely fucking pissed, <laughs> tried to sue the I can't believe it's not butter people. <laughs> <laughs> until he finally admitted that it was him. Oh. And it's, and then the best part of this whole story, at the end of it, he said that uh, his, he, his whole family looked at him and left to go get ice cream. <laughs> and he said, and now they won't speak to him. Oh, that missed out on ice cream. Uh, yeah, man. I shouldn't have done that. That right. was one of the best fucking things I've seen. Oh, God. That's so fucked up. I love it. I'm doing it. <laughs> okay, just don't do it to me. Can I give you some advice? Mm-hmm. Margarine. <laughs> <laughs> don't ruin the butter. It wasn't butter. Yeah, it was, it was I can't like, believe it's not butter. Okay. Fair yeah, yeah, there you go. Okay. Uh, uh, no, seriously, I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I refuse. That was butter. <laughs> that was brown butter. Yeah. It was cocoa butter. It was cocoa brown butter. butter. Blam, blam. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Uh, moving on to questions and preguntas. Same thing, guys. If you have any suggestions you'd like to send to us, go to uh, our Instagram, which is at laughing on the sidelines, and send them to us. All right. First question. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm serious about this. <laughs> okay. First question. What kills about 450 people in the U.S. every year? Premature cremation. Oh, fuck. Yeah, like you think he's dead, but he's not. Ugh. And you go ahead and you start to cremate him anyway, but then by the time you hear him scream, it's too late. That's Ugh. just really what a house fire is. It's about four. <laughs> no. No, you're at the crematorium. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's it kills about 450 people a year. Jesus. Premature cremation. Wow. Like I just was taking a nap. My yeah. <laughs> All of a sudden. <laughs> fuck. That's bad. Um, I went with the toaster. Yeah. Toaster is responsible for about 450 deaths every single year. In what way? It's not the person's fault. It's the toaster's fault. It's yeah, the bathtub's yeah. fault. And the bathtub. It's you the bathtub, the water, and the toaster's fault, not the person. Don't blame electricity here. Okay, I'm gonna. The toaster, it's its fault. Ben Franklin would roll over in his fucking I bag. think we need to ban toasters, fuckers. What do you got against toast? I'm just what saying. What about toaster ovens? I don't know. Would they do that? Would well, they? Toasters won't do it either. <laughs> not, not, not in this day and age. Not it, anymore. It'll flip the breaker and damn. Yeah. Uh, okay. Bathrooms are on ground fault indicators. And okay. anyways, Jesus <laughs> <laughs> fucking <laughs> MythBusters over here. <laughs> <laughs> no shit, right? Uh, how about you, Jeremy? Bonsai tree trimming. <laughs> how? You tell me, Scotty. <laughs> <laughs> we got you a gift though. <laughs> A awesome. little tiny tree. <laughs> I like to think that people are trimming and they really get in depth and they hit their wrist. Oh yeah, and just bleed out. They're stank ass trees. Love it. Yeah. All right. Well, wow, that's just you, Scotty. Okay. Uh, next question. For some side money, I started renting out my blank lawnmower 4.0. <laughs> Yeah, that's a very, very good product. Yeah, it's a fantastic product. You can get top dollar for that. Yeah. I can't get shit for my 3.0 anymore. No. My 4.0, I'm getting about $18 a trim. Jeez, mm-hmm. that's impressive. Yep, I've been renting it out for about six months now. I think you should start trying to get the 3.0 to like uh, like stage lighting. They may want to borrow it. No, you need a 4.0 for that. It's adjustable. Yeah. I would say throw it in the bathtub, but that won't do any good. <laughs> <laughs> Waterproof. <laughs> It'll shave the water. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That hairy water, you know, that's a problem. Fucking hairy water is the worst. <laughs> God. <laughs> it is the worst. This he's, is not a joke. He's, he's the missing member of uh, One Direction, wasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hairy water? <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> exactly. Uh, <laughs> so I, I started renting out my sister. Dude, that's, that's for yeah. free. No. That's a free service, everybody. No. No, and we're now charging for it, using my connections to get her out there. You're a pimp. Yeah. You've become a pimp. For my sister. You don't dress as one, though. No. You wear that fucking <laughs> idiot I'm getting jersey. pretty close. Is I'm that getting... what you bought that with, your sister money? Yeah. It's side money, man. Got to use it. Sure. How about you, Jeremy? Uh, jockstrap space. 
<laughs> There's plenty of extra room in there. Not many people are wanting to buy a jock strap, so we just kind of fit two in there. <laughs> Siamese jock strap. Uh-huh. Yeah, you, you take one side, I'll take the other. Yeah. <laughs> you can actually only use that in three legged races. <laughs> That's the only way. <laughs> I uh I have so often I can't tell you how often I've laid awake at night just contemplating the design of that. So you secure my balls in place, but you leave my asshole completely exposed. <laughs> JP designed it. <laughs> he's, he's the inventor. Yeah. Uh, is that so you can take a shit without? <laughs> maybe. I don't know. But then again, all poops are peas. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's so in Scotty's driving. Yeah, he, exactly. can, he doesn't have time to take down pants and underwear. <laughs> so you can still, still towel snap in the locker room. Yeah. I guess. Uh I always wore mine with sliding shorts. Like I had sliding shorts for a couple, which shorts. which will do the job of a jock strap. Correct. <clears throat> yeah, uh, they're they're outdated, man. Okay, Not in my house, right? <laughs> that's that's all we wear. Jeremy's oh. wearing one right now. <laughs> my yeah. wife fills mine out way better than I do. <laughs> all right, next question. Name a dating site for amputees. Well, it's really thick amputees, but it's called stumptrucks.com. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah. I, I actually had a couple. Okay. Uh, well, I was thinking, you know, StubHub, but uh, that's already taken, so I put Stub Club. Okay. I'll go with that one. I, I went with uh, StumpyLove.com <laughs> or SmellMyElbow.com. <laughs> oh, shit. I like it. All right, uh, next one. What's something women think they are great at, but in reality, they aren't? Being funny. That's true. Uh-huh. Like, that's not even a joke. Nope. <laughs> that one. That's uh, dead on true. That is dead on balls accurate. I know, like, three funny women, and uh, one of them's a comic out of here. Yeah. Yeah, Megan. Megan's funny, but uh, I don't know very many other funny ones. I'm with you. A hundred percent on that. Uh, I did. Uh, there actually are women that think that they are good drivers. Mm-hmm. Um, that is false. Uh, as much as you think that you have not gotten into any car accident in the last 10 years, you have caused multiple. What about that Danica Patrick? Yeah. Yeah. Bad. Look driver. at all them races. She won. I don't think she oh, really won. Fuck. Yeah. She really um, finished. Um, yep. The other one I had was hand jobs. You're not very good at it. Well, you like him from dudes or no? <laughs> he's professional, dude. He's got a I'm fucking a only I, That's right. I am allowed dude. to critique that. That is correct. That's that's like a fucking Olympic ice skater. You go out trying to fucking impress him <laughs> with your ice skating skills <laughs> with your stupid hockey yeah. jersey. Right. <laughs> How about you, Jeremy? Well, I was gonna say hand jobs, but uh, <laughs> beat you uh, to it. TikToks. Ooh. Uh mm. Or selfies, taking selfies. That's they all good. seem to think that they're great at that. Yeah, yeah. And they all look the same. Uh huh. Yeah, that's true. I stumbled on, uh, over the the hot chicks talk, whatever the fuck that is. But they're like my only age. Fans. No, <laughs> only no. hands. Yeah, only hands. No, only fans. No. He's got only hands. I stumbled like like there was a whole bunch of them that were all like 30, 30 years old, right around there, and I'm like, what is this? This is bad i need to reset my settings can't do that so anyway so we'll stop liking Dude, those that's videos a, that's <laughs> a didn't. good story <laughs> i didn't i'm married all right uh last stop question liking those videos <laughs> <laughs> like, Let, i don't watch porno i'm married yeah let me fun last <laughs> bring it into the bedroom with the toy <laughs> right uh last question what's uh hold on a second uh oh yeah What's an awkward thing to shout while jumping on a trampoline with your friend? Somebody else go. Oh, I got, I got one. The yeah, South yeah. will rise again. <laughs> I just, oh, okay. Or don't tread on me. Yeah. You should uh, you should go get your mom, see if she wants to come jump on the trampoline. Yeah. You, I, my mom doesn't trampoline. <laughs> Why not? Are you saying that's what you would yell? Because you didn't yell it. Y- yeah. 
Yeah. You, you should you go get your mom. There you go. There you go. Yeah. You've ruined this. Jeremy's mom. Come on, man. Come jump with us. Come on, man. Well, yeah, that's okay. Now you're being inappropriate. I know. How about you, Derek? You talk about fucking her, but not on the Wee! My dad's dead! <laughs> <laughs> Always a good one. It's true. Yeah. I've never seen anybody cry on a trampoline. <laughs> I've seen him cry after falling off of a trampoline, but I've never seen anybody cry while jumping on a trampoline. Uh, I've seen kids like that are like really scared for, to like go too high and stuff. I've seen that. Of course, but, you watch a lot of kids, I know. Yeah. Thanks, man. Yeah, fuck kids. My pleasure. <laughs> Jesus. Way to end that segment on a real high note, guys. Yeah. Really brought the energy. Sure Boom. Did. Boom. All right. Now we get to move on Shabam. to uh, part of every single episode that everybody seems to enjoy. This is our laughing on the sidelines draft. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's laughing on the sidelines draft. Derek fucking hates it when I do that. Yeah, you sound like a fucking dumbass Tim Allen. I know. That's the only Im- impression I can really do. Uh, but uh, so who who won last week? I, I got my What's ass kicked. What's the deal with these drafts? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on. Uh, I think, uh, I think Nobody Derek- ever wins a prize. Yeah. <laughs> I think uh, I think Derek. You get a belt, but I, my pants already stay on. <laughs> what do I need a belt for? <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think uh, Derek won the Jim Carrey draft last week. Um, Jeremy came in second. I came in dead last, so I get the number one pick this week. Um, and I, I really do like this draft. Uh, I think it will, we can put it up on Facebook, but it we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna, but it may get taken down pretty quick. No. I mean, it might, it may not. There's so much other more offensive shit. I know there is, but uh, yeah, this is the draft. Uh, we we had this question on the show uh, weeks before when Derek wasn't here, and I was pissed, and Derek was fucking livid. So uh, we just figured, well, why don't we just make it a draft? Because we can think of tons of examples of these. This is shit white people do. (laughs) Uh, Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty pumped for this fucking draft. Uh, I get the first one. Uh I get the first pick, and I'm going to take that pick right off the fucking top, and that is get offended for somebody else's shit. All right. That wasn't on my list. Well, it should have been. Well, I'm offended that it wasn't. Yeah, you should be. <laughs> People uh, should stop doing that, and they should let girls play baseball. Right. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, Jeremy, you get the next pick. Well, I think I said it on a previous episode, but I'll go ahead and make it my number one. Metal detecting. <laughs> <laughs> 100%. You ha- you ha- it's against the law, right? Isn't that what you said? For uh, any minority to yeah to meddle, the t- I believe so. If yeah. not, it should be. Yeah, that's my shit. <laughs> uh, all right, Derek, you get back to back picks, dude. All right, I'm excited. All right, here uh, we go. Go to brunch. Yeah, that's a good one. And I've got another one. Okay, ugly sweater parties. Fuck, dang it. That's those are two fucking excellent picks. <laughs> Because I think those are both like 100 percenters. Oh, the, oh, yeah. oh, you know what I'm saying. I, I just had brunch two weeks ago, and I can tell you, no, they were. It was it was run by a black family. It was uh, plenty of black families there. Okay, all right, all right fine. Uh, Jeremy, number. I assume there were families. Dad wasn't there. Um, <laughs> oh fuck! Oh my god! Oh shit! You can edit that out if you want. <laughs> Nah. Yikes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jeremy, next pick. Welcome to lynching on the sidelines. <laughs> oh my God. Jesus Christ, Jeremy. <laughs> okay. Fuck. Okay. Go ahead, Jeremy, with your next one. Uh, Christmas caroling. <laughs> okay. That's yeah. That's a good one. Uh, shit. Um... All right, I'm going to go, uh, for sure I'm going to go with the one that I used on uh, that episode, which is talking about the weather for small talk. Um, and after that, I don't fucking know. Damn it. Oh, jeez. I'm going to go with hang out for hours at a Starbucks. 
All right. That counts as one of mine. So it wasn't a bad pick. I had Starbucks on mine. Yeah. Yeah. They, fuck, we do. All right. Derek, go ahead. Jeremy? I'm sorry. Jeremy, go ahead. I apologize. Uh, Post things on Pinterest. (laughs) Yeah. That's a good one. That is an excellent one, actually. All right. Man, there's so many good ones. You know what's really funny, Jeremy? Hmm. I'm looking at all of these lists, and one of them's on fucking Pinterest. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, Derek, you get two back to back, bud. Couples costumes. Oh, you're good at this. And mm, yoga. Damn it. That was one I was like thinking it was going to come back. <laughs> Son of a bitch. You know, uh, that is an Indian thing, though, right? Yeah. Yeah, but white people are the only ones I know that do it. Pretty much. I mean, they go to goat yoga, they go to all the, yoga. all the yogas, hot yoga. Yeah. That's right. Uh, Jeremy, go ahead. Uh, fuck, I don't know. Uh, drink real fruit juice. <laughs> 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 Not drink. Juice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to put uh, dress up their dog. Ooh, good one. Mm, yeah. Yes. French kiss their dog also. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're counting a spike collar. Yeah. 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 Uh, um, God dang it. I had it, and then you made me fucking forget it, you jackass. Um, I know. Damn, I can't believe I missed the dog one. I'm... I've got a couple, but I don't know if they're very good. I, I don't think they're very good, but if um, if somebody if somebody uses the wrong direction, like if you say on the left and they, they do the right, they always go, no, your other left. Okay. Can I use that one? If you want to. I don't I mean, see a problem with it. I, I just, I don't know. <sighs> I don't, no, I don't want to use that one. I want to go, I want to say like, fucking line dance i'll do that okay. one all right you just take as many pics as you fucking need asshole yeah sorry i blanked on that last one because you you fucked me up okay jeremy last pick say gosh darn it mm. <laughs> yeah all of those bad words and derek final pick oh i'm gonna give you some honorable mentions okay please do because yours are great uh chew tobacco uh, yeah bring your dog to the bar yeah throw axes 100 <laughs> <laughs> percent. how did that not make the list i don't know drink ipas go, yeah. to, go to farmer's market uh-huh snowboard yep scuba dive mm-hmm. hike <laughs> eat sushi <laughs> And I'm between two. Okay. I'll tell you the two in between for my last one. Uh, Gender reveal parties. Yeah. Or watch The Office. Ooh. Everybody watches The (laughs) Office. There's there's a black fellow on there. I know. (laughs) I know. But he's like a really white black guy, I think. Stanley? Stanley? No. Well, he's on The Office, so I figured he was. No, there's actually... I'm going to go gender reveal parties. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll go with that. Um, I, I would have of, actually, I would have gone with throwing axes and it's not even close. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, there was one I was fucking like, like I was going to go stupid and go like, uh, riding bulls, you know, like, like rodeo. that rodeo and yeah. Harry Absolutely. Potter. Yeah. Harry Potter's a big one. Um, there were black kids in it. It doesn't black fucking kids. matter. <laughs> <laughs> It's the night. kid who announced Quidditch. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, uh, yeah. That's a good one. Game, Game night. night. Yeah. Fuck yeah, that's good. Scrapbooking. Like oh mm-hmm. damn, we that, we could have two episodes of this. Pinterest. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. It, it, that's technically true. That's just online scrapbooking. I think. Uh, I, the other one I was kind of thinking of, like talk shit on Facebook. I nah, that's all of us. Is that all of us? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I just figured. All right, guys. Well, that golf. Yeah, there's there you go. Now you're getting into that stuff. Regular golf. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. Uh, but anyways, that is our draft for the shit white people do. Um, you can go look on uh, Wednesday, uh, right around noon. I generally have it already up to where you can vote on the best list of shit white people do by clicking on the uh, corresponding list by using the corresponding emoji. 
And uh, whoever wins uh, gets uh, last pick or the championship picks next week. All right. Now, moving on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is our laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation of the week brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and Legos. That's right, Scotty. Uh, the Valcartier Army Base, that's up in Canada, um, <coughs> back in the 70s used to have a uh, summer camp for high school Army cadets. And uh, one day after a strenuous day of uh, physical training, they were happy to find out that they would be spending their afternoon doing classroom work. Um, in this particular classroom was a training course on uh, standard munitions that most armies use. And uh, they brought in some examples of uh, dummy explosives, live mines, uh, claymores, things like that. Um, and uh, apparently at some point, uh, without anybody knowing, a live grenade snuck into the examples of things that they threw that they passed around. Um, Kids being kids and curious as they were, uh, pulled the pin and a huge explosion went off. This uh, wound up killing six of the students and injuring 52 more Jesus. in what would be known as the Valcartier grenade incident. And now your child can uh, remake the magic of this moment using nothing but a little imagination and Legos. Legos? You blowing yourself up there, eh? <laughs> Nice. Okay. Well, this week's uh, shitty situation. What is it, Jeremy? I don't know. Not Derek? No idea. God, you guys fucking suck. All right. This week's... We're not the fucking hosts, Jack. <laughs> I'm just trying to pawn off my duties. Okay. This week's shitty situation is, would you rather give up the first hit to the uh, first female Major League Baseball player or... Spend your entire life savings on a on a football that uh, was supposed to be Tom Brady's last touchdown pass, and then he comes out of retirement the next fucking day. Okay. Yeah. I, I'm 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 taking the fucking football. Really? Yeah. Okay. Why? I, I'm taking that fucking football because the amount of embarrassment, and don't be that piece of shit that goes up there and just lobs one up there. Dude. No, you're 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 trying. You're, you're just trying. toss it. You're to, you're you're not you going to be that piece by of the shit. Three pitches. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because then you will forever be named that guy. You got to brush your back with one. Yeah. You got to. I mean, chin music that shit. And even if I spent my entire life savings on a football that now has devalued itself by fucking almost a half a million dollars over that yeah i uh i still think that maybe somebody might reach out and feel bad and help maybe but i still wouldn't want to give up that first fucking hit fuck that well here's the thing if you give up the first hit you are making major league money True. because you were in you're in the major leagues so there is that yeah uh, but with that being said i'm the football <laughs> uh a i collect that shit uh, -huh. uh b that you got a hell of a fucking story yeah and there's nothing i like more than just bitching about shit <laughs> so that would tide me over for a good rest of my life like the, these last five six years that i've got left that would be perfect yeah so I've got to go with the football. And at some point, maybe that climbs in value like, oh, that's the fucking ball. Mm -hmm. Maybe it'll appreciate a little bit. But right now, it ain't worth dick. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. And I don't have my collection to sell it anyway. I, didn't, I wouldn't have bought that for 500 grand to sell it and hopefully make another 50 grand off of it. Right. Yeah. How about you, Jeremy? Um, <clears throat> clean sweep. I'm going with the football, too. Um at least that football is what they say worth twenty five to thirty thousand. Yeah. yeah. So you can recoup at least that much of your money. You will never recoup your self esteem <laughs> if you give up that hit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man. Smoke one. Like like I wouldn't let her have the, the light of day. I would feel embarrassed not only if I like gave up the first hit if I walked her. You know? Oh, she's gonna have a wide strike zone. Yeah. Oh, man. <clears throat> oh, you think? Oh, yeah. I, I, I think th it's going to be pretty tight. I, I think, think you're going to have to put too. it right in there before they call strike. 
I do too. Everybody wants the the nice. Or that's what I mean. Yeah, that's yeah. what I mean. They're going to be calling everything a ball. Yeah. So and that's kind of my point. It's like yeah. I, I sorry. They're just going to be all you know. It's a great story and everything. No, fuck that. Fuck that. We are the type of people that would actually try to block the handicapped kid shooting threes. That's the way we are. Hit her in the but tit. Here, here's here's <laughs> the thing. If she's legitimately good enough to be there, that won't be an issue. Right. I mean, yeah, exactly. She'll have earned her way there coming up through the minor league system just like every fucking baseball player does. Yeah. But I have a feeling they would try to fast track it. What if she's she gets there and she's just insists on chewing tobacco <laughs> well she could sure yeah I, I she's think. in the bullpen throwing axes warming up mm-hmm. yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> dressing up her fucking chihuahua that sits in the dugout uh-huh. she's the fucking designated hitter Turns <laughs> right. out she's the best hitter on the team her husband's in the stands wearing the same exact uniform <laughs> full gear with a glove yeah come on honey and then they're going to whole foods after the game she gets two called strikes. You going to hit that trash can or what? <laughs> right. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for another episode. We sincerely do appreciate it. Do either of uh, you guys have any uh, shows that you can confirm on yet at all? Uh, I have nothing. Nothing yet? Okay. No. Google it. Jeremy, be here next week? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll be here. Okay. That's your show. That's your weekly show. Yeah. 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 I've, I've got a regular gig. <laughs> I got a residency at the German house. <laughs> yeah. Which is not quite as classy uh, as the Waffle House, by right. the way. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. I man. hope it's for the show and not for his only hands. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, whatever gets me out of here faster. <laughs> All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much. I know we've got a lot of, li- of new listeners. We sincerely appreciate you guys checking us out and sharing the show. That is the only way that we can grow. Sharing our TikToks, commenting, liking. Uh, we sincerely do appreciate that. Uh, still calling out people stealing our sounds on TikTok. It pisses us off, but it's it's most likely going to happen. So We have a water bottle down, guys. We, we sure do. I see it over there. But anyways. Fuck. Yeah. You spilled that water Everybody bottle. All right. yeah. <laughs> spilled that water bottle it, all over the place. It fell really slow. I just I wanted to yell, No That was like that was, me in that hotel room. Right. <laughs> no, that was that happened faster than that fucking shotgun. <laughs> Uh, but anyways guys thank you so much as always we like to tell you if you like us tell your friends if you do not like us we hope you eat a tub full of poop butter (laughs) if you don't like us tell your enemies and until next time wow i can't believe it's not butter (laughs) until next time keep laughing assholes we will see y'all take care